Hi, welcome to Free Fit Lessons. Today we are going to learn my version of a tune called Money Musk, which is a New England chestnut tune. That's one that goes with a specific dance, also called Money Musk, uh, or the Money Musk sometimes. Um, this is a really fun tune in the key of A. Um, and I'll just note that in the music I wrote it out as uh, without repeats, um, but that's really only because I couldn't figure out how to make just a single eighth note pickup <laughs> all by itself. That's all that's different uh, is the pickup to the next part um, in each of the parts. So there's one note that's different, um, but I couldn't somehow make the music writing program write just a single eighth note all by itself as the pickup notes um, for the beginning of the measures. And I didn't want to write out second endings for each of the things. Maybe it's silly, but that's how I did it. So here is the Money Musk. So there's the tune. Um, we have three parts, and I often like to start with this long F sharp. Um, and I guess if I was starting with potatoes, it would sound kind of like that. Um, but for the learning purposes, um, and for when you when you when you come back around to the A part at the end of the tune, um, it just becomes a short little eighth note. Um, and for learning purposes, we will just skip that pickup note altogether and just start right on E. So this follows sort of the Irish tune format where we have several different um, phrases that all start, or short little phrases that start with the same bit of material. So we have a lot of A arpeggio here. And then in a scale. So let's try that much again. And then same thing at the beginning. So the changes. And then we have the ending. So these parts are so short that I think it makes sense to just go for it and play the entire part. Uh, so here's the A part.
The pickup note to the B part is a G sharp. Let's just get that much because the next bit is a little finger twisty. So, put that nice long E to prepare for the twisting. The next bit is So it helped me when I was learning this bit to think, okay, it's going from a lower number finger to a higher number finger. So from three to four, changing strings, two to three, one to two. So the whole phrase, um, it has those three introductory notes. So let's play um, the whole B part so far. We won't play the pickup note. We'll just start right on high A. Here we go. Three to four. Again. And that part will probably take a lot of practice to get up to speed. Um, so the ending is the same again, um, and the introduction to it is not quite. And then the ending. So let's do that again. Whole B part. The C part is a B. C part's, um, it's such a nice rest after the B part. I really love it. Um, so we have the B. And sometimes I play different rhythms for those long notes. So I changed even just now. You can play da 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 or you can play or you can play shuffle bows on both or um, sometimes I'll add extra A's in but um, so what I have in my official teaching version here is a shuffle bow and then a dotted corner note. And then we have a little scale. So let's do that. And we use A and B as pickup notes. All right, let's play the whole thing slowly.
part. <laughs> 